Hey everyone. Some of you may have remembered me coming here in the past. This is the Rutland, Massachusetts prison camp. I was in the area. It's a nice day. It's 50 something degrees and I decided to take a look at it because it rained so much. You've seen me go in these before. This is the old solitary confinement building and there's other various cool stuff. The state of Massachusetts plans on tearing a lot of this down because they're afraid that somebody might get hurt on it. It was open for many years at your own risk, but they put up all this construction fence. I think some idiot fell into the septic tank like a year ago. They still have yet to tear it down, but it rained a ton, so I want to see how much water is sitting in this old septic tank. And I got my big high boots on, so maybe we'll walk in it. Yeah, this is the septic tank. This used to be the cell block of the prison, and from the inside of the septic tank you can see a bunch of four inch pipes the toilets were literally sitting right on top of it you flush it it goes right in the far end of the septic tank there's a large pipe where a lot of water was able to come in and i'm hoping today that there might be water actually trickling in through that pipe taking a look into the septic tank oh my gosh the most water i've ever seen in the rutland septic tank but i think someone maybe fell into those holes See, incompetent explorers will ruin this for everyone. Yeah, they're probably going to demolish all this stuff. So if you're interested in checking this stuff out, I would definitely recommend doing it before it's gone. I hear a vehicle, I think. Or maybe it's raging water. All right, here we go into the septic tank. You've seen me go in here before. Wow, an awesome echo over the water. Most water I've ever seen in here. I know people before have told me it's gross that I'm going into a septic tank. Well, there hasn't been poops in here in over a hundred years, so I'm not concerned. Here's one of the toilet holes that's dripping right there. There used to be a toilet right there. Wow, very deep water in the septic tank. Wish I brought a bigger light. It's okay though. This is still awesome to see. Usually I, I come in here and there's like a, a couple inches of water. But this is almost too deep for my big high boots. And this is kind of cool. Look at all the floating logs, floating debris in here. Lots of trash. There's another pipe for another toilet. It's still got the metal piece in there. Oh, a floating tire. You know, you know what this reminds me of? Y'all ever see that episode of The Walking Dead where they're walking around in that basement with all the floating debris? They're in there to get canned food and supplies. And then suddenly these extremely rotted zombies start coming up. Or, I, or you're not supposed to say zombie in that show. You're supposed to say walker. That's what this reminds me of. Very creepy. This may have been a spot where water came in from another part of the prison. I smell very fresh spray paint. Here's another hole. 
And here's the end of the septic tank. More floating debris and logs. Giant barrel. And yes, I was right. There is water coming out of the pipe coming from other buildings and stuff that used to be here. Yep. There's water trickling out of this. Good amount of it too. Good steady trickle. And I imagine when it's raining really hard, there's probably even more water coming out of there. That's probably how a lot of this water gets here, combined with the water table keeping it here too. Look at this barrel covered in bullet holes. There's an overwhelming smell of spray paint. I think it's that. Doesn't that look pretty fresh? Very fresh. Someone may have been in here in the last day or two doing that. I don't think it would have been that recent. This is really cool. See, that these logs are a huge tripping hazard. If I did actually find a monster in here, I'd trip getting out of here in a hurry. And there's also lots of things on the bottom that I'm being very careful not to trip over. Very uneven ground. And up here looks like at one point they maybe tried to block this off so people couldn't come in here. Is what I would think this is. All crumbled. Maybe the septic tank continued a little further. I think they tried to block it off. Look how thick and quality the rebar was back then. What do we got over here? Lots of trickling water, so I would say the water table is still very high. I believe that this was some sort of clean out for the septic tank. This is the most I've ever seen this part of it full. Multiple feet of water here. I would imagine maybe this was a clean out. There had to have been another spot because the septic tank is way deeper than this. But this was also a big building here on top of the septic tank. Interesting, I like it. You know, since they're actually gonna tear this thing down, this might be my only chance to ever do this. Get some footage of me walking in here. So I just had to come back in here with a tripod. Back up to the solitary confinement building. And over there is the old vegetable cellar, back before the days of refrigeration. So, briefly, I'm gonna tell you what this place is. I do have other videos exploring it. There's even hospital ruins, barn ruins. They used to raise dairy cows here, different farm animals. So this place, this prison camp was for low offending individuals that weren't really high risk. The prisoners were allowed to work on the farm, grow crops, raise animals, that kind of stuff, instead of going to prison. That's basically what this place was. It was abandoned and shut down, not because it wasn't doing well, but because this is now watershed for the Quabbin Reservoir. And you can't be running things like tractors and stirring up the land because when it rains there's going to be a massive amount of sediment like you see when you drive on these roads you're stirring it up the rain washes the muddy water 
into the rivers, which leads to the drinking water supply. But if you're out here tilling all the fields and agitating all of it, it's way worse. And the biggest issue was the feces coming from the animals. It makes the nitrate in the water very high bacteria content. You can't have that in the drinking water. So that's why it shut down. I hope today's video was interesting, everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Pretty muddy roads. Pretty soon, as soon as it snows a lot, they don't plow these roads, they will end up shutting them all down. I wonder what's up here. This gate has never been open before. They open all these gates and they leave this place open for hunters. The roads are supposed to be frozen this time of year, but we got a big thaw just for a day. It's gonna flash freeze tonight back into single digits. This has never been open before. If there's anything good, I'll show you. This road is just too muddy and I'm not going to take the risk of getting stuck out here. This road, you can tell, is not traveled very much. There's lots of big rocks in the road, easy to bottom out. And back here, I really didn't like what I just drove over. It felt like the mud, which is really slippery, was going to try pushing me. You see that? I barely got traction right there just pulling forward to turn around. And I have really aggressive winter tires, and I'm losing traction even with them. Yeah, this right here just scared me. This, the hump in the road is so big in this spot. If I slide over down into these ruts, I am going to bottom out and I am going to be stuck. All right, thankfully I made it over it. I don't think, nope, I'm not out of the clear yet. This hump is way bigger than it appears. It's probably a foot high, and if I fall onto that with the belly of the vehicle, I am gonna be stuck. All right, we got past that. I'm in the clear now. Maybe someday with a more aggressive vehicle in the future, whenever I can afford to get one, I will explore these again, probably next winter. That's when they'll be open again. That was actually really cool that there was not a gate off to the left if you saw that. You could drive up underneath the power lines, but that looked like a very rugged trail. Heading back down into the prison camp. I remember years ago, I went for a walk up this road, not nearly as far as I just drove, but I was looking forward, supposedly, there was a little bit of remnants left of the old chicken coops. I couldn't find anything. Even with the GPS, I found where they should have been, didn't find them. Coming down here, this road went around the prison compound. In front of me was the cow barns and all that. You can still see the troughs and stuff because they're concrete, they're still there. All these fields, if you're noticing how they keep them nice and mowed, that's because hunters come out here and they hunt things like deer in these fields. That's why the state keeps them nice and mowed. Very nice. You come out here in late summer, the brush will be like five feet tall. Every um, autumn they come out here and they mow everything down. Crunch. Other spots of this area are logging forest. There's not too much logging activity, but there's always something fresh. It's a small logging operation that happens out here in these woods.